Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still, of course, Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. I am the Drunk Pokeru. It is beer time. It is happy IPA day. Are you having a good day? Have you had some IPAs? Are you able to stand up still? Because let's face it, we ain't drinking no session beers today. Um, as we continue the journey for OG Ontario Craft Beer IPAs, we look next to Muskoka Brewery Mad Tom IPA, an absolute beaut at 6.4%. This is not a wee beer. And Mad Tom, if you follow him on Twitter, we well, can get some angries going on there. Um, classic, classic beer, twice as Mad Tom, which seems to be available all year round now. Now, I don't know if that's the plan, but that's a great thing. But I stuck with the classic with the OG. Uh, as you see, the Spiegeloo is now on its fourth beer of IPA day, and it is still alive. <sighs> Tempting fate every single damn time. So again, a classic IPA. This is not, you know, New England style or brute IPA or milkshake. And I've got some of those, but for me, I wanted to talk about the classics, the beers we maybe we don't have very often because, you know, we walk by and we're like, oh, I've had that, I've had that, I've had that. It's good to look back. It's good to try them again. So let's talk about it. Copper pour, big, thick, fluffy white head. And you, you kind of notice that with these beers, right? We were talking about the old school IPAs, not the soft, pillowy New England IPAs that we've seen now. We're seeing that kind of, you know, you look back and you're seeing a much heavier, maltier, bitter IPA. So let's get into it. Uh, give her a sniff. With Mad Tom, I always find I get a hint of lemon in there with the grapefruit and the orange notes. Um... It's just a hot bill. Let's do it. I miss my Mad Tom. I haven't had one in quite some time, so I'm kind of excited. Cheers. Oh, dear. You know what? Like, And this is the fourth OG beer today. This is a look at a style of beer that we all love. We all love IPAs. But they're so different. And the, the differences sometimes are subtle. The differences sometimes are massive. Uh, with this one here, big biscuity toasted malt body, again, providing that base for the rest of the beer, which seems to be where we came from when you learned IPAs in Ontario in the last, I don't know, decade. For me, it's been like four years. I think my first one of these was in uh, the summer of 2014, so it's barely been four years, and that's not much of my life. So still relatively new, but man, can I appreciate this a lot more. Bitter grapefruit. Uh, orange orange rind, like that kind of bitterness you get if you bite into the rind of your citrus fruit. Why we like that, I don't know. And neither does Mrs. Polk because she thinks it's crazy, but it's beautiful. Um, lingering pine, hints of lemon, bitter, dry on the back end. It's an absolutely gorgeous beer. Should have it more often. Again, that's part of the reason IPA Day is fun. I chose all these beers I've had many many times and i just i kind of miss them so it's a good excuse i hope you had a great day ipa day is every day i know for some of us but uh, don't forget you know other styles explore and then come back and try the legends the classics the beautiful ones that led us to where we are today cheers my friends i hear really tom's not mad he's just disappointed <laughs>